Okay, I guess the camera's gonna fall off. <clears throat> so I haven't filmed in such a long time that I realize I do not look at the camera the way I used to anymore. So I've decided to redo this again. Anyway, hey guys, it's me, Gio, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I will be doing something different. I'll be making a Christmas present today. Um, you'll see it. It is two little things. I will show you the song I wrote, and I'll also show you this little thing I'm making. It's from Toy Story. Please don't send me Disney. We can be friends. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoy the video, and let's get right to it, shall we? I'm Boom! For a squeaky thing. Oh, is that a tiny Christmas hat? No, it's not. I'm looking for something that's squeaky right now. Ooh, a red ribbon that is not gonna be too crazy. Or a tiny bow tie. But I can just make it with a ribbon. We will see. Uh, right now, I think there's nothing I can find here. So I will get back to you. So, welcome back. I did eventually manage to find a squeaker. Was in Wilco. It does belong to a dog toy. I'll show you. I haven't had time to film this part. We will do a making of soon. Don't worry. So, here is the penguin. Cute. It does actually, which is really cute, match the teddy bear. So we will do some stuff with this. This will become a lot more Frankenstein, sorry. You guys can be friends. Anyway. Uh, so let's see. We got the gift bag, and we're going to use the ribbon actually to make a bow tie. Because we're, I don't know, too far to film the intro for this yet. But yeah. What's his name again? Wheezy? Yeah, Wheezy. Yeah, I've got so many receipts on me right now. Yeah, so I'm just... Uh, uh. So we're gonna be, this is going to be my project for the week. For a few couple... Depends how long it takes me. When I have when I have free time in between. Got the sewing kit. So we're going to have to make an incision. It's very hard to see. So the incision is going to be quite rough. We're going to have to make it right at the back there. So... Uh, I can't see a cleaner area to do it, so this is going to hurt him quite a bit, uh, but this is probably the best place to make the incision, but we'll figure it out. And here we have the squeaky toy, it's actually bigger than the penguin, but it's supposed to be like wheezy. If you watch Toy Story 2 you get it. This is it's quite, this is quite a it's literally not even covered by the plush. You can see it like, if I really wanted to take it out now, I could. It won't be too much of a hassle. I will want to keep this just because it's kind of fun to just like, I'm, a, I'm like a dog. So I'll do a whole video where I um, make an incision. It won't be too hard. It's very surface level. I just need to make sure I don't cut the squeaker. So we'll have to be careful with that, but I'll show you how we go through that in a bit. Okay, okay, so we're gonna get started. Let's open this up. It is a different day later slightly, is it? These are the scissors that came in my um, sewing kit. I don't think I'm gonna use this. Where's the needles? Oh, there they are. Okay, uh, where are my scissors? Okay, so I can see that squeakier is here. So I just need to make sure I don't break the squeaker. And I want to preserve this as much as possible. If I had, um, does have a knifey thing? When I say knifey thing, I mean like it's a really sharp thing. Wow. I'm so good. Okay. If I can just make an incision somewhere, I can just sift about for it. To be fair, this is designed to be gone, gone out of dogs by dogs, so. Okay, this is gonna be harder. Okay, no, I already made a hole in it. So, this is not a good dog toy. No offense to the people who made this. Sorry, Wilco. Okay. Squeaker. I can actually preserve this pretty well. If I'm 
really wanted to keep this, I could sew it up. I don't know. We'll see. I might want it for something else. Okay, now that here comes the hard part. Mr. Penguin here. I'm going to have to make an incision in this guy. What is the best way to do this? Huh. It's quite big. If I cover it up. I'm pretending it's inside of him right now. Hmm. Let me flip you what I'm going to do first and I'll come back. So, actually, this is a terrible idea. If I can remove... I was thinking, because black is harder, it would be harder to see the, ste the seam where I cut a hole, but the head is stitched on, so I, I, I could take the head off. Oh, that is terrifying. Sorry, penguin. It might be easier, but it might fuck it up more. Would the incision look okay? Depends how... It's a questionable thought processes. I realise if I make an incision in the head, it's not going to be the best idea. Because if I do that, the way it's stuck on, like the head's clearly more plushy. There is clearly physical space in here, like, it's a set. A bean bag. So I'm going to just cut it down the back. Okay. Let's go for it. I'll do it on the table so you guys can take a look. Just need to make sure I get right into the seam. Can I get right into the seam for this? Probably, actually. Oh, that was pretty good. That's pretty good. Did you see that? You can't see it, but... I made a very good seam into it. And I cut right in the threads. Oh, perfect. Okay. So there is a bean bag here. Do I put it behind the bean bag so you could just feel it? So the bean bag, there's what's inside it's like the the hide. Oh, I remember hearing this weird thing. There was this kid in like Builder Bear, and they were just like they were telling the mum like, Oh! Oh, it was the mother, and she was just like, Okay, kids, go pick your carcasses. And the funniest part of that story is that that kid was minted enough to have a birthday party at Builder Bear. So, respect to that kid. Anyway, good job on the hustle. Weird choice of the word carcass, but good job on you, mother of a child. Now let's see. There is a bean bag here. It is just completely separate. I could put it underneath or above, but it, most of the weight should be at the bottom. I don't want to cut open the bean bag. I think that'll cause more problems than good. Oh, here. I can take the beanbag now out and actually- Oh, is it gonna sp spill everywhere? Oh, it's yellow! Okay, interesting. Will I be able to put it back in? I don't know. Oh, this is just an exploration event right now. Interesting, so the beans are yellow. How cool. Okay. If I open up the bag and re -sew it, oh, that's not... It's not one of those things you can easily stitch back, and the stitch is already coming off. Hmm. How would I do this? Can I take it all out? Good thing I'm doing this early, because... Oh, it's sewn in. Okay, it is so sewn to the bottom. Interesting. And, but not sewn to the top. Okay. So I just need to figure out a way to get it in. Huh. I'm going to have to edit this. This is going to be a long video. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. The way they did this was just... Very interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Okay. Let me... To be fair, if I cut it here, I'll have to do the re the whole thing. As opposed to just putting it in. But it's better quality. It would be easier to fix a squeaker if I just didn't take the whole thing out in the first place. Let me just shove it back in there. Let me try and put this in. Next I'm going to try and make a bow tie. Okay, so this is the concept. Okay, I'm pretty good with my hands when it comes to sewing and stuff. 
this flower in my bag. I actually sewed myself, if you can see that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Doesn't look cool on the camera, I just saw what it looked like. <laughs> Will I find the thread? No. Hmm. Is there a way to do this? Hold on. <laughs> Let me Google this. So I think I've been pranked here. So clearly the grey one and the white one you can find the end of. But for the black one, there's literally... Even if I see it on video, there's... L I cannot see where the thread is supposed to be. Was that it? Is that tiny little edge it? Hold on. Let me flip. So I have a penguin here. We Mr. Wheezy here. It's so weird. It's like a little sack just... Anyway, uh, I'm going to cut open this, I'm going to find out where the scent is. I think it's the green one. <sighs> this is so weird. I'm doing it in my sink. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's right there. So I'm going to soak the balls in this. Yep, that is what I just said. This might be a terrible idea, but still worthwhile. Just rub it on there. Try and get all the smell in there. That's what I'm doing. I think the other parts are just a cleaning part. I don't know if the other parts are scented. So these balls should be <laughs> scented. These balls should be scented here. I'm going to rinse it out now with some water. I'll throw this. Well, to be fair, this is water in the toilet. <laughs> so I'm going to rinse this out. And this should hopefully just scent it. With, with my scent. I think so. So I'm going to air dry this now. And we'll see how, how it goes. Hopefully, it should be good. I'm drying right now on the towel. I think it's done some it's done something. Do I know what it did? No. But I know it's definitely added some kind of scent. It's not the scent that I was hoping for, but I guess that's alright. <clears throat> okay. So we're in the last couple stages. Oh, you can't see anything right now. The light is the lighting is crazy. I also had to uh Make a bow tie. This is the fabric I have. It doesn't look like the fabric that they use. So we'll see. It'll be quite a tiny bow tie. But we'll see. I'm right now about to sew it up. Um, tiny scissors. This penguin could definitely mess me up. What's up? I'm a penguin. What's up? Penguin. I managed to get in the scent in, but now we will try and stitch it all back together. Oh, okay. Not the best way to hold, hold these at all, but okay. Cut the thing. I always like to make the notch first. Notch, is that what you call it? Okay, let's see. Hopefully this won't go straight through. That's what I'm worried about. I'll probably time lapse this so it's not as incredibly boring, but we'll see. Do I even have an editing software? I don't know. Okay, seems good to me. Yeah, no, didn't really tie. We'll have to do an older method that I haven't used in a while. Basically going to go through and make a knot. Okay, seems good to me.
about if we can see what mine might actually do. Basically. Okay. Okay, so Mr. Penguin is done. Hopefully the stitching will stay together. The squeaker is in place. Can't tell that the squeaker is there. Pretty well done, if I do say so. Does it look more floppy than the other guy? A little bit, but we'll see. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna try and make a bow tie. Okay, so, welcome back everyone, Penguin, Mr. Wheezy is right here, so let's open this up, hopefully the scenting smells a lot more, I'll keep it in here before I give a present, we are going to do the bow tie, smells like it, it's dried up, the scenting has gone through, so that's good, let's go try and make that bow tie, shall we? So my plan was to use this as the bow tie. Hopefully I can take these off okay. I'll figure out what to do with the box another time. But for now, let's just pull these through. Uh -huh. Okay. Whew. So the bow tie. We're gonna have to tie this up and see how it goes. Okay, so if I pull it like that and just wrap it around, it makes a pretty good bow tie pretty quickly. So I just need to tie this up and then it should be good. Yeah. So I just need to get the, fa the amount of fabric I need. You won't use too much just in case I mess it up. But anyway, so fold it in. Made, I made a loop if you wanna see what I'm trying to do. Gonna close it in like that, so that the excess fabric is at the bottom. Now we're going to wrap it up, and then we're gonna tie this together. And actually, let me get Mr. Bear here as a reference. So this is how big the bow tie will be. I'll probably make it a bit smaller, but I will show you what I do when I do this. Okay. record an outro but we've reached the end of the video now well not the very end actually because you're about to see a little making of of the song now it's only gonna be one quick clip and then the actual song but I hope you guys enjoy um, I hope the person I gave this present to enjoys Wheezy here hopes so too so I guess that's the end of the video first YouTube video in like a few months now surprising isn't it? Mm -hmm. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed, and enjoy this next bit. Slide. I don't even know if it's going to do any panning across. It's just... Oh, you brush the clouds away, but I know what we have. No one can erase. <laughs>
every day You made my whole world change It's a sweet blend of all your shades Oh, you brush the clouds away But I know what we have No one can erase Oh, you and your hands that hold my face Are the only things that can paint my portrait Cause love you my gallery cause it's framed with all the energy from the first time I met you cause it's the way that you just capture me it's lined with who I wanna be I love